Hi, I'm Maggie and I work at AirTrick, the world's largest volume radon testing lab. Our scientists have developed a package for you to test your granite countertop for a potential radon emission. Our complete testing package has two parts, the countertop package and four air tests. You need to run these two parts at the same time. Now, part one, the countertop part, includes a mailing envelope, a packet of activated charcoal, water-based sealant, and a plastic dish. Part two includes four air tests. The package also includes a set of instructions that go into more detail on how to place and perform the air test. Now, before you start any of these tests, you need to maintain closed house conditions for 12 hours before and for the entire 48 hours of the testing period. That means you need to keep all external doors, windows, and vents closed except for normal going in and out. Use your kitchen fan except it's absolutely necessary. We also include a FedEx envelope and a prepaid shipping label for you to send all five test kits back to our labs. Now as stated in these instructions that we've included, first you need to place the charcoal packet on your countertop. Next, take the dish and one of the water soluble sealant packets and apply a thin layer around the rim of the dish. I've applied a thin layer of the water soluble sealant evenly around the rim of the dish. Now I'm going to lay on top of the charcoal packet over on the counter. Once you've laid it on top of the charcoal packet, just press down along the rim to make sure that it seals. Next, you need to circle the starting date and time on the mailing packet. So for us, it's, it's August 15th at 3 p.m. So I circle 15 and 3 p.m. Now that you've marked the starting date and time of your test, either place the mailing packet on the dish or in a safe place for 48 hours. Now we need to start part two with your four air tests. To begin, circle the starting time and date on each of your air tests. For us, it's August 15th at 3 p.m. You need to mark all four air tests now. After you've circled the beginning time and date on each of your air tests, you need to insert a foam plug as shown in your instructions. Now for the first air test, you need to hang it directly above your countertop test. If you have cabinet handles, you can use the plastic hook that's attached and hang it from there. Or if you don't have handles, like this cabinet, just take a piece of masking tape and tape it up. air test, we're going to hang it a little further down the counter, away from the sink, stove, and dishwasher. For the third test, we're going to hang it in another room, approximately 20 feet away from the countertop. In this case, we're going to go into the living room and hang it from this china cabinet. You need to hang this at breathing level and leave it in place just like the other air test for 48 hours. For your fourth air test, you want to hang it in the lowest livable level. In this house, it's an unfinished basement which the owner plans to finish eventually. Now these steps come down in the center of the basement. So we're just going to hang it right here where it's centrally located for 48 hours. Let's fast forward 48 hours after you began the test. We're going to end part one, the countertop test, first. And what you need to do is you need to mark the ending, time, and date on the mailing packet. So for us, it is August 17th at 3 p.m. I'm also going to fill out my name, address, and email or fax number. Now that you've filled out all your information, let's lift up the dish and place your charcoal packet in the mailing sleeve. As shown in the instructions, peel off this white backing and press the sides closed. Make sure it's sealed. You may have some water soluble sealant still left on your counter. Just take a damp paper towel and wipe it up. That's all it takes.
So you can throw this towel and the dish away. Now to end part two, the air test, take down your test kit and remove and discard the foam plug and the plastic cook. Now that you've removed the foam plug, you need to seal the test. So fold back the edge with the white strip on it, remove the white backing. Next, you need to circle the ending time and date on your kit. So for us, it's August 17th at 3 p.m. The last thing you need to fill out is on the test where it says floor tested. At the end of the line, there's a space beside the word other. Now for the two tests, now for the two air tests that you hung in the kitchen above the counter, write K in that space for kitchen. For the test you have in the other room, write C for control. And for the test that you put in the lowest level for us, the basement, you can circle the floor, basement, crawl space, first floor, where you hung it. Five of your tests, you need to mail it back to the lab using our included FedEx envelope and prepaid label. Additionally, we'd like you to fill out this granite questionnaire. You need to fill out the type of granite and the origin if you know where it's from. This helps us create a database of the types of granite that we're testing. Now to use the prepaid shipping label, you need to fill out your return information on the white part. Then detach the gray part for your records. and apply the white part of the label to the envelope. You can call FedEx and ask them to pick it up. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to call us. 800 Air Check. Thank you.